living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up, power to set you free. We need a power lift, the truth will set you free. Living in faith with truth, receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries, preach the word indeed. We here to help each other, witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry, let your praise out. Now let the truth of in you, release that holy shout. Ah uh, yes, ah uh, yes, ah uh, yes. It's that time again. It's time hey. to be blessed. It's time to be uplifted. It's time to us to glorify God on power lift. Live it in faithful truth. John eight and thirty two says, "We shall hear the truth, and the truth shall make you free." It's time to be made free on tonight. We have a powerful man. This guest tonight is blowing my mind. I am so honored. To have her on our show, man, I am like blown away. I might be kind of nervous right now, Lady K, because we got a powerful guest on tonight, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. Ain't no time wow. to be nervous. But you know, hey, hey. have to answer. Lady K, you know when when you when you're in the presence of greatness, you know that's what you <laughs> that's what you gotta no. step up. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, listen, I just wanted for those that are tuning in right now, for those that were here to replay, we welcome you to Powerlift. We welcome you to a radio show that will bless your soul, bless your heart. We thank God for our producer, Jerry Royce, on Positive Power 21 Radio. We pray that it comes into your bedroom, if you're in your car, wherever you are, we pray that it's a blessing to you. The show tonight will be about a powerful testimony powerful story of someone that can tell you their relationship with Christ and how God has blessed them. That's what Power Lift is all about. Remember now, when you come to Power Lift, come with the mindset, okay, I'm going to be encouraged. I'm going to be uplifted. I am to be encouraged by someone's story. So with that being said, Lady K, let me start off with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come. We thank you, Father God. We bless your name, Father God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you and you alone be glorified on tonight, Father God. We pray everything that's said, every, every testimony, every story, Father God, is said, Father God, that so, uh, the hero will hear, Father God, and they will be blessed, and they will be equipped, and they will be edified, Father God, by, the, by your wonderful works, Father God. So, Father God, have your way. In Jesus' name we do pray. We say amen, amen, and amen again. Come on, Lady Kay. I'm so excited that you have joined us. We want to invite you to check out our website, powerofthegospel.org. Um, let us know what you think of the show. If you want to connect with us on all of our social media outlet, outlets, you can do that through powerofthegospel.org. If you want to um, help in some kind of way with our ministry, you can donate through powerofthegospel.org. And we love to hear from you. Uh, also, I would like to thank all of those that have been listening, that have been um, giving us uh, great shout outs on social media, that have watched Power or have listened to Power Lift Radio. We really appreciate it. We love you guys. We adore you and we thank you for listening. So with that being said, I am going to read the the bio of our guest for tonight. She is a beautiful, amazing, anointed, um, praise singer, soul-stirring woman of God. She is uh, blessed to sing, write, teach, arrange, and produce songs and music. She is the eldest daughter of evangelist Claudia Price North and the sister to the soulful singer Kelly Price and the late Sakina Grace Price. She is the wife of um, a musician and uh, psalmist Dupree Owens and the mother of three beautiful anointed children. She has ministered um, all of her life and has been blessed to sing 
with some phenomenal artists, the late, great Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, Twinkie Clark, Pastor Donnie McClurkin, Pastor Hezekiah Walker, and the Love Fellowship Choir, the late, great James Moore, the late, great Timothy Wright, the late, great Benny Cummings, and a host of others. Through the Ministry of Song, it opened numerous doors and opportunities for her to record with renowned artists. She was a backup singer for Mariah Carey, as well as George Michael, Luther Vandross, and Puff Daddy, and a host of other artists. She has got her, um, her, her last release was Long Time Coming in 2018, and as well as No Boundaries. She has been nominated for the IRAA Award and is a recent recipient of the 2018 Radio and Records New Artist of the Year Award. So without further ado, she was also nominated in 2019 for the Rhythm of Gospel Music Award. Mm. And mm. as a category nominee in the 2019 Praise Factory Awards, Sixth category nom- nominee in 2019 for the Vega and the Kia Awards, and three category nominee in 2019 Gospel Choice Awards for TGBTG. Now, I need y'all to put your hands together and welcome the beautiful. <laughs> Wow. Wow. We are so excited to have you tonight. Good evening. Good evening, um, wow. Minister Red and Lady K. What an honor wow. to be on the Powerless uh, Radio Show this evening. Wow. Sister Price, I'm, I'm here now. I, I, I'm after that introduction, man. I'm like, okay, what do you say? What do you ask? this powerful woman, this accomplished woman of God. That is absolutely amazing. Your resume basically speaks for itself. We can say good night, play her music, Jerry, and we can go home. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are so sweet. It is an honor to be on the Powerlift Radio Show this evening with you you all. And the listeners, I'm telling you, thank you all for inviting me and having me on. (laughs) Thank you, thank you. This is our pleasure. Let's let's get let's get right down to it, Sister Price. Now let me ask you this: now, how do you pronounce your first name? I don't want to butcher nobody name on radio. (laughs) My first name is Sean Ray. It's like Sean Uh and Ray, but it's combined Sean Ray. Sean Ray, okay, because I didn't want to get up here and mess up your name. That's why I'm calling you Sister Price, if you don't mind. Hey, when I get that right, okay? Here's yes, I, I understand. It's fine. <laughs> Here's the question I want to ask you. Let's go back to the beginning. How did this start? I mean, if you look back now from where you are, okay, where you are right now, if you look at where you are right now, and if you were to look back, what would you say is the pivot, the pivotal change, the pivotal um, um, thing that happened in your life that springboarded you or gave you? Or you see where God opened the door. And in your case, I have to open the gates for all this blessing <laughs> that you. <laughs> what the, when you look at what's the pivotal thing in your life that just made this change or made this move to start you on this journey? to get you where you are right now? Well, uh, my mother is the one who started my sisters and myself on this path. Um, She always said that when she was carrying me and my sisters, because I'm the eldest sister um, out of the three of us, and she said the Lord told her to train us from babies on to sing and to minister. So this is something I've been doing my entire life. I'm from age two and three. Um, we've, uh, my sisters and I always sang. My mother 
Father kept us singing in choirs and singing um, by ourselves as the Price Sisters. And my mom is a, ph- a phenomenal singer herself. She's, mm-hmm. she's the one that sang with Timothy Wright initially, Butch Haywood, Benny Cummins, the, the Clarks, and then she always kept us with her. And then, of course, she, my mother is a phenomenal choir director and, and vocal trainer. So um, as she was teaching us, we were working alongside with her, training voices from babies and ch- little, little ones on. So my mother is the one that set us on a path and set me on this path. And I've heard my entire life. You know, the Lord giving different people prophecies over, uh, prophesying over me and saying that you're going to be singing to the nations and you're going to be singing globally. And, um, wow. I, you know, initially, wow. I didn't believe it initially because I always felt like, you know, I was the background. I'm, I, and I tell people that all the time. I always felt like I was the background and I was okay with, with being background. Um, y'all know my sister, a global singer, Kelly Price, and she's right. always been the front singer. And I was just like, you know, I, I was fine with the background, but the Lord kept sending word through um, his people, men and women, I, my whole entire life saying, no, you're going to sing for the world. You're going to sing for the nations. And you know what? It, 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 he, he brought that to pass. Wow. That is, that is absolutely amazing. And that's why, you know, that's a very good example of their power, speaking over your kids, speaking life into your kids, speaking to their future. You know, that's why my wife always said, don't ever tell the kids, or, or never tell your kids that you're stupid or you're never going to be nothing, you're never going to be right. sorry. You know, you got to be careful what you speak into your kids' life. You know, you are a perfect right. example of your mama speaking and training up a child in the way they ought to go. So I see now, and I believe now, where, why you're where you are, because mom laid the foundation, and that is absolutely awesome. Right now, is your mom still living? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, my mom, well, I... and she still, you know, I tell people that was my first uh, manager. That was my promoter. That was my first um, travel uh, road manager. She was the first everything. <laughs> our biggest our biggest fans, our pusher, our backer. And, yes, she is still here doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, shout out, shout out to Praise mama. God. We shout out to mama here. Okay, Lady K, go ahead. I got my opening question. I got my jitters out. <laughs> right now. So I have another one for okay. you. <laughs> Go ahead, Lady Kay. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. I've, you know, been listening to your music off and on mm-hmm. all day, and it's just really been blessing me. What <clears throat> I know we're talking about, you know, a long time coming and no boundaries tonight. What out of all the songs that you have, um, that you're responsible for writing or recording, what is your favorite songs? Okay, well, I wrote all of the songs and arranged them. My husband produced them. Thank you, Jesus. Um, my <laughs> favorite song is um, Long Time Coming. That is the absolute last song on the album, and it's just my testimony, and it talks about how, you know, things may not come when you want it to come, but it, it comes when God says, when the Lord says, now's the time. And so um, I talk about how there was a lot of um, ups and downs and a lot of t- Years and all, you know, so many fears and stuff, but, but the Lord was still there. And then he, when he brought it all back around again, he said, I want you to go on and do it now. And, and you know, I'm, I, me and my flesh, I'm thinking, oh, I'm too old. I'm, I'm, I don't have the right physique for it. Um, I, who am I going, who, what's my demographic? But the Lord said, I, I said, do this and trust me. And as he did it, you know, everything just started falling right back into place. And um, and the end of that song says, it's been a long time coming, but I want to say thank you, Lord, for this day. Mm -hmm. I love that song. Amen. Absolutely amazing. And another question that I had, how did it feel when you won your first award? Oh, that, it was like, whoa, um, okay, this is really happening. I, um, kind of 
felt a little surreal. I thought that I was just going, me and the band, I thought we were just going to open up for the award shows. Um, because the radio and record award shows, is it's a secular platform. It's, mm-hmm. and it's, it's really, it's the award shows for like secular artists and secular radio hosts. And mm-hmm. then when I was presented with the new artist of the year award, I was like, wow, this was so amazing. <laughs> and I'm just, I, I'm still floating behind it. I'm like, whoa. Wow. I'm, the very first um, album I put out, 2018, and then I received that award in August of 2018. Like, they were following me and following right. everything. And, and I said, look at God. Mm, praise wow. God. That's beautiful. That awesome, mm-hmm. awesome, awesome. Now, 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 Lady Price, here we go. There we go now. I'm about to start to prick and poke and pry now. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to vanilla all the questions. Oh, these are nice questions you're asking her, and those are really easy to answer. Okay, here we go. Sibling rivalry. Here we go. You ready for this? Uh-huh. Okay, so um, how close are you and Kelly? Or have y'all, are you all planning on doing anything together? You, was it a competition growing up when y'all were kids coming up? You know, how helpful was she? Just want, we want to hear the story of you guys coming up together, uh, you know, your siblings with her, you know, already, you know, being up there and you like, and now who's older? She's older than you? No, I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest, the oldest out okay. of us. And okay, so um, no, we were, were very, very, like very close growing up. Um, people thought that we were twins, but we were yeah, not. Okay. We're 18 months apart, and we were very close, like best friends. Although we're sisters, we're like best friends, and it was never a competition. Um, never a competition. Like I said, um, like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, like that. Okay. We um, we did everything together. Everything with it just flowed, just flowed, just flowed. And, um, you know, as we got grown and everything, um, right. we moved our, our locations, our geographic locations, um, we moved. And so, of course, we wasn't seeing each other every day like we were right. accustomed. And we had to get used to our adult life, but it's, um, the communication always still stayed the same. And, you know, she, I've always been proud of everything that she's of done course, and the Maybe barriers that yep. Kelly has broken and all of that, especially um, in the industry. Um, she's on main, the mainstream platform and, and a lot of things that she endured um, as a plus size artist. And so now you don't have to worry about no um, sibling robbing. Now, of course, uh, every, every family has ups and downs, uh, but yeah, no, yeah. no sibling robbery here, none of that. Okay. Okay. And okay, um, okay. the love is still the same. The love is still Very the same. Cool. You know, we may not speak every day. We right. may not even speak every week, but the, but the love is still the same. That's my sister. Yes. I mean, and that's because, I guess, because she's so busy. And obviously, from your resume, you're busy, too. You know, so oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard <laughs> to probably talk every day. But the love of me, and, and I love that. You know, sometimes you don't hear those stories. You know, you hear the... This the brothers not talking to brother and sister not talking to sister and mom not talking to you know you hear those stories all the time in these you know popular family or you know um, people that's in Hollywood or in music and all that but that is that is amazing to see that and to hear that now the next question I want to ask you is you know um, and I always want to deal with what's going on right now you know I always want to deal with what's going on right now and um, just your opinion on what do you think um, spiritually? Because, you know, we have talked about it, and I've always said there's the leaders are missing, the, the church leaders are really missing to step up at these times like this, especially in the racism and all that that's going on. What do you think is missing? What or who is missing today? You know, like I always say, there's a Martin Luther King missing today. There's a John Lewis that's missing today. There's that one voice that can put everybody together and go, okay, let's stand united. Let's stand against racism. Let's do this, you know? And of course we know, my wife always say this, that the voice of the Lord needs to be more preeminent in today's school, the government, the workplace, you know? So uh, your opinion is when you hear all that's going on, and it's a lot, what do you think is missing in today's times, on today's situation, what's going on? Well, I think that um, I think that 
the Lord is um, resetting. He's, he's resetting um, his people. He's like putting that. things back into perspective. Like a I lot like of people that. down throughout the years, as um, as things started settling with our race and our culture, and uh, money, re- money has been, um, you know, really being a, a big part of our culture within the mm-hmm. last 50, 60, 70 years. You know, you have a lot of wealthy, wealthy, um, you know, African Americans and Sometimes with a lot of things like that and, and um and choice and all of this, people they they just a lot of a lot of people forget about our uh, spiritual foundation, and they a lot of um, people were not raised in church. They was not raised to reverence God to honor the Lord, and so that opened up the doors for a whole lot of other things to start taking place. And so I believe that the Lord is, is he is getting uh, a lot of people's attention, not just our culture, but a whole lot of people's attention. And and there's some reestablishing, there's some, re, you know, um, some things being taken back, back into, uh, back to God. And whether they grew up knowing God or knowing about God, there are people now that are curious. And, and they're praying if they're they're being put in positions of prayer and seeking God. You know, of course, the church doors are not open, but the ch- but the, that that building is not the church itself. You know, Thank we you. are. Thank you. So I know that on that end, there is some reestablishing that's taking place now. As far as, as far as the one voice um, speaking out for. You know, so what's the injustices that are that are happening, and and that are really being seen. Thank you know, thank God for social media right now. Mm-hmm. But I think that the Lord is using multiple people, not just one, okay. but multiple. There okay. are multiple okay. people that are standing up. That are, I'm so proud of our young people, our millennials that are taking stance, and they are going out and they're marching and they're speaking up and they're doing it peacefully about the injustices. So it may not just be be the one person right now, but I do thank God for the multiples that are standing up and that are, you know, uh, I even, even my oldest son, he's um, very active. He's using his voice very respectfully um, and standing up for the injustices that's going on. And of course, I'm telling us, just please stay prayerful and, and, and just do what the Lord is leading you to do and be safe while you're doing this. But I believe yeah. that the Lord is yeah. using multiples because this is, this is the, uh, the end it really is. Mm, tall sister. Come on now. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it, it doesn't just need one person anymore. I thank God for the multiples okay. all over that are standing. We may not readily recognize who this person is or that person is, but there are multiple people that are standing up, and they're, and they're using their voice and their influence. Like right here in Atlanta, I live in Atlanta. I thank God for T.I. He's a secular rap artist, but he is standing up for injustice. Yeah. And I, I mean, and all, that, yeah. all, all across the platforms, um, the, the, the non-insurance that a lot of hardworking people cannot get, can, cannot get, you know, and I mean, he's standing up for it. So I thank God for the multiple people that are standing up, and they may not even understand that they're being used of the Lord, you know? <laughs> so I don't think that it's, not, it's lacking right now. I don't think so. I think okay. that God is using, he's, he's about to, you, he's forming his, he's banning, he's pulling these people together, and, and um, they're going to make a, a large noise, and things, there, is, there are going like to be changed. It is going to be changed. I like that. I like it. That's hey, that's a powerful answer right there. I absolutely am amazed by that answer because like I never thought about it like that. A bunch of voices coming up speaking united as one, standing for the right thing. That is absolutely powerful. And I just want to let you know, um, Nene, I heard that's that's what they call you, right, Nay? Huh? Sean Ray. <laughs> Sean Ray, okay, all right. Okay. Hey, I just want to hey, I want I wanna say this. I wanna say this. You know, your your voice brings a lot of energy, too. Your voice, the way you sing. I told my wife, first song, song I heard, I'm like, oh, she can sing. Hey, <laughs> my hands are about, about that. You know, but your voice, <laughs> the way you. you come forth, the way you speak, there's, you know, and I like someone that speaks with power and authority, you know, let you know, like, I ain't scared, you know. This is what That's God right. has told me to sing. This is what God has told me to say. And like I said, you also, like myself, my wife, you know, um, um, Jerry, 
we are voices, like you said, and I love that. We are the voice that God is going to use. Positive That's right. Power Radio, 21 Radio, we're going to use to stand and discuss and, and challenge racism and systematic thing that's going on in our society. Go ahead, Lady K. Woo! I'm having fun with her. I'm having yeah. fun with her. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing time. I'm so excited uh, about it. <clears throat> uh, My next question is, how did you meet your husband? Oh, well, um, I, I'm from the, the Church of God in Christ, and so is he. And so it's those that are familiar with Church of God in Christ or Kojic, um, we have, um, it's a whole lot of churches all over the world, of Church of God in Christ. We have um, something that call, that's called state meetings um, for each state. So we're both from New York. And so we met at, uh, at church at our state meeting. And then we wound up going to college, to the same college together. Uh, I grew up in South Rockaway, Queens. He grew up in Long Island. But we wound up going to the same college together. And, um, you know, we would chit-chat here and there in college. And then I had to wind up leaving um, college my second year um, due to, at the time, um, the father Bush was in, and he took all of the funding for, um, you know, the minor- for minorities. He took our grants away from us at that time, back in 1989, 19, um, and he took our grants away. So I had to leave school um, because if you couldn't, if you couldn't get loans, enough loans to stay in college, I wound up leaving, and I moved to Georgia for one year to establish residency so I can um, go to school for free down here at Georgia State. And I um, moved down here, wind up um, working we're working with two different churches down here. Um, it was so many churches that wanted me to work with them um, musically, music-wise. And so mm-hmm. I wound up working with one church, um, which was our Apostolic Church, beautiful church, and then another one was Church of God in Christ. Come to find out that was my husband's uncle's church, did not know it. He, um, I found out, they was like, oh, you know my, my nephew, Dupree, and, and I was like, really? And so Dupree wound up coming down and visiting and everything, and then I wound up going back to New York um, just for a job. I had uh, offered a uh, job offered to sing for George Michael, and all of that's in my resume. And um, <laughs> they formed the 100 Voice Choir. My my husband was a part of that 100 Voice Choir. Well, to make a long story short, um, it, he just never left my side. He wanted. He kept. He would always say, "You know, you're gonna be my wife." And I was like, "We're not even dating." And he kept saying, yeah. but you won't be my wife. I said, yeah, but we're not Sounds dating. familiar. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, Go ahead. and then he would always introduce me to, like, his friends and family. Oh, uh, this is my wife, Cherie. That's my middle name, Cherie. And I said, um, we're not even, like, okay, we're not even really dating. He was like, oh, yeah, we are. So he would always introduce me as his wife. And I was like, this is so weird. But... I mean, he and he, he. We started dating, and he was like, "You're gonna marry me," and I was like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> and yeah, he was like, "Yeah, you're gonna marry me," and sure enough, we got married. <laughs> oh wow! See, oh, okay, now, how- Crystal, go ahead and tell him. <laughs> For months, was it years or months? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, with us? Um, yeah. we wound up. It took about. Okay, it was. My, it would have been literally probably 18 months between the dating and marriage, but I kept holding them up because I was like, no, 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 no. So it took us about two and a half years before we got married. Almost, almost two, two and a half, about two years, two years. But I kept holding them up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You've been you've been denying your blessings, huh? That what you're doing? I, I really was. I really was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness! That is about to hear about black love. I love to hear about marriages. When you are in the industry, when you are, you know, even in in ministry, because I understand um, he's the minister of music and you're the praise leader <clears throat> at your church, right? Oh, no, we were. We were. Oh, and um, the last church that we went to, now we're dreamers. We go to Bishop William Murphy's church, 
and I'm not in ministry there. We're not in ministry there because our music, our music ministry personal is, is very demanding. And so I can't, you know, I can't, you know, at this time, we've done, we've done this for years, our whole, basically our whole lives. So right now, we have to dedicate everything to our personal ministry. But no, um, we were the ministers of music for years at um, our former church, Living Faith International Ministries. And then mm-hmm. before that, it was, um, we, we worked with several other churches. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. And I love um, Bishop William Murphy. I listen to him. Um, every day because he's doing the prayer and yes. he's been ministering every day. So I listen to him every day. I just um, adore him. As a, I a love man. my pastors. When I say that man, woo, he, is, he, he and Pastor D, he and his wife, they are yes. some awesome teachers and preachers of the word. Amen. Yes, they are. Um, so that is just amazing. Now, how is it having anointed little ones? around your house all day. I, I, I'm just imagining y'all singing and breaking out in dance and song, but how is it having three amazing anointed children? Well, they've grown. Our grown folk are grown now. The oldest one, um, the oldest one is 27, um, and then the middle one is 25. He'll be 26 next month in August, and the baby's 24. She'll be 25 in January. But growing up, you know, um, our children, we, we always did praise and worship in the house. We had our own devotional and Bible study. And so um, sometimes it was like pulling teeth with them singing, but they sing and play and everything, and they knew that was just a part of our lives. And then they also were in ministry um, at the, you know, with us in church. So they were always in leadership, Christian workers. They did everything. Um, outside of playing, they were in the dance ministry. They were in the mind ministry they were in okay. hospitality they you know they they used to be in ministry so now with them being grown it, it's in them and it's got it, whatever's in them is coming out of them and they always my daughter always says she's the baby she always says mama everywhere if i'm at work everywhere i go it just seems like people just want to they just feel comfortable with coming to talk to me and she said before i know it i just have to tell them what what just drops in me and then i tell them i gotta go <laughs> I <laughs> said, so, see, what's in you? <laughs> what's in you? The light of God is shining, and people are drawn to that light. And I said, just say, thank you, Jesus. I said, say, give them what God gives you, and then when it's over, keep it moving. <laughs> so they're understanding. They're understanding. Amen. 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 You know, I heard you say 1989 when you were in college, so we're around the same age. So uh-huh. you look, you look phenomenally young. So I just want to say that. Um, oh, you thank like, you. <laughs> because I'm like, I know she said that, but I'm like looking at your picture and I'm going, okay, hold on. So you are um, amazingly beautiful. And so I praise God. You know, it's something when, when you're in the Lord, God just gives you years back. <laughs> That's a part of our benefits. You know, I always tell people that I said, listen, we need to stand on the benefits of, of the Lord. When he, he tells us, when we live for him, and we and we don't wait until we're older to live for him, but if we live for him all of our days, we promise us to um, use youth, and, and we're still going to be strong, and our eyesight will still be strong. Our hearing will, you know, we'll just have, be, we'll have age on us, but we'll still just be just as strong as these young people. And I stand on that benefit. Our Amen. minds will still be sharp. And I said, Lord, I thank you for the, your benefits. Amen. That is true. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not doing it all. Still got some more stuff to ask. What time is it? It's, it's eight thirty-five. Hey, um, remember now, Lady Spice. Say it again, Lady K. I can hear you. Say it again. I said I get carried away, so I want to just yeah, 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 yeah. You can see why she she she's that kind of person. You want to get carried away and talk to see you all night. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this interview. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let let me share something. Um, later, price at the end now. We're going to give you a chance to shout out to your. Well, you already shout out to your pastor, 
But shout out to your family, anybody close by, your husband or your kids if you want to, and give everyone your um, social media connection, how they can follow you, um, get your music, listen to your um, to your song, you know, watch your video on YouTube. We're going to give you a chance, you know, to just go and just promote all that on here, okay? But before we get okay. to that, yeah, before oh. we get to that, here's, here's what I want to ask you now on, on, on this level, okay? Um, okay. Of all the... The um no no let me take that back I really had two questions but let me try to get let me get this one in on your journey to where you are right now okay on your journey to where you are right now we know it wasn't like a bed of roses everything didn't go perfect you know there were some things along the way so we want you to share with our listening audience because there's people might be in the music ministry or the they're hoping to be a musician or a singer. And along the way, something happened that the bottom fell out. You know, it, this didn't work or this didn't happen. And maybe they just need a testimony to, to encourage them to go, oh, after all that, she kept going? After all that, she still made it this far? And what testimony or what story could you share with our listening audience to say, okay, yes, this happened along the way to where I am right now. And in spite of that, God still allowed me to make it. Could you mind sharing a story or a testimony? Okay, um, I'm going to try to, it's been so many things just happened, but um, one thing you have to remember, listeners, when, um, and it doesn't matter what your gift and your talent is, when when there's greatness that um, God instills in you, there will always come uh, someone in power, someone in a, pos- uh, in a high position, or many people in power, and many people in high positions that will try to stop you along your way. That's happened to me. Mm-hmm most of my life, from childhood on up, and a lot of it happened in church. So when I would work with pastors um, with their music ministry, um, they always wanted to pretend like they didn't know what God gave them through me. And mm. then, um, but when they were around specific people, people of influence, that they would brag and say, oh, well, I have a Sean Ray Price that, that's here working with my music ministry, and, um, you know, and this, that, and the other to gain whatever they needed to gain. But uh, along the way, they would not, a lot of times they would not do right by me. You know, and one thing I, I'm, I've never been, I've never been the type of person that comes in with a big head, puffed up attitude, that's not me. Because singers come a dime a dozen, and I know unless God allows it, unless he opens the doors and he makes the way, and I don't care how talented you are, things will not happen. So it's important to keep a, a humble spirit. And remember that it's because of God, that's why, where you, that's why you get to go where you go and meet the people people you meet and make the money that you make. So I never, I've never, I've never um, act like that wherever I go. But unfortunately, because I am not like that, a lot of people in position and power have taken that for as my Mm. weakness. And so when it's time to move it along, you don't have to tear down the house before you go. You ain't got to tell (laughs) your side of the story before you leave. When your time is up, go. And just keep moving. Don't get discouraged. Because remember, they did the same thing to Jesus. Mm-hmm. They did the same thing to a whole lot of other people in the Bible, which is our history yeah, book, on, yeah. which is our archives. And so if you read that and you see people of greatness like Joseph and along with Jesus and different people like that and different prophets. So when um, God used them mightily, there were always people there like um, our, uh, this, uh, Prophet Elijah and Jezebel, Queen Jezebel, her husband. There's always someone in power that's going to try to stop you from doing what God called you to do. They're going to try to taint your name. They're going to try to manipulate people mm. to dislike you. And that's happened to me most of the time in my life. But you know what? You keep it moving. And when it's over and, and that's it, and I'm going to tell y'all, like my aunt told me, who was a fire evangelist, she said, you get up, you shake the dust off your feet, you take that same anointing that you came in there with and you take it with you. Take it with you and you move on to the next de- the next destination where God would have you to be. You um go on and let go and you keep moving and you keep blessing the house or wherever you are. Keep doing what God called you to do and remember that God is the one who is going to uh, who's the judge.
best one. So when the, when the word of God says you weak, just what you sow, trust me, I've seen it happen. Amen. I've seen it over and over and over again happen to Amen. people that touch God's anointing. We don't have to do Amen. anything. And we keep our eyes on the prize. And yes, it may not come when you want it to come. It may not happen when you want it to come. But trust me, God is not a man to lie. He's not a spirit to lie. And if he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. I still mm. haven't seen everything that God promised, but watch, guess what? I'm walking in it. I'm walking in it, and these doors are opening. And I, and guess what? Expect some opposition to come. Expect, but you don't throw your hands up and you don't walk away. You give it to God and say, God, you got me, and I know vengeance is, is, is yours. Because you say that. You keep being that light. And don't be discouraged and keep it moving. And that's that's all I want to say. I've experienced a whole lot of backstabbing <laughs> from pastors, bishops, and in between. But you know what? Unfortunately, they've had to answer to God, our same creator. And a lot of things that, that, um, that they experienced after the fact was due to they touched God's child. Amen. So that's what wow. I want to say. Wow. Amen. I, I, Hey, uh, you know, we about we about we about to shut it down. We about to shut it down because trust me, that is, oh my God, Jerry, I ain't gonna say nothing, to Jerry. Lady K, tell Jerry what we need to do. Tell Jerry what we need we to do. We always run out of time, Jerry. And we need to get we need to get her back. We need to get her back. Okay, <laughs> because wait a minute, wait a minute. She she just started preaching. The sermon just started. That is so powerful right there, young lady. Look, so let me ask you this before we go. I'm, I'm gonna throw the last question in. Have you ever thought about? Ministry like preaching, teaching, or I do, yes? I do it. My, you know what? I do it daily. My life, my okay. life preaches life for me. My you. life Got preaches you. for me. I don't Got have you. to be behind no pulpit. I have been Got behind you. the pulpit, but you know what? I like that one-on-one encounter with nice. people. Nice. I love that nice. one-on-one encounter with people, and I've been blessed to Perfect. meet meet people all over the world, kings, queens, monarchs, and whatever God gave me to to give them, awesome. they take they are still standing on that if they're awesome. still living, and that's my that's that I let my life preach for me, and that's it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh my God. Hey, Lady K, can we end on a better note than that? Amen. That's a great note to end on. I <laughs> just want to. <laughs> To what she said when you said touch not my anointed a lot of times um bishops and and pastors believe that that's for them but mm-hmm. see, that is not <laughs> for the pulpit that is for all of god's anointed whether you are yep. in the pew, whether you are singing whether you the usher it still stands <laughs> for god's anointed yep so that's right <clears throat> yep that's right yep. so so listen now, um, um, Lady Price, go ahead. Yes. Shout out to your listening audience. Let them know where they can find you, where they can listen to your music, where they can put your music, everything that they need to know right now. Go ahead. Okay, I want to shout out to my mother, Evangelist Claudia Norm, uh, Norman Price North. <laughs> I had to put all her names right. in there. To right. Bishop, that's my pop, to Bishop. I want to shout out to my husband, Dupree Owens. I'm, I really appreciate him. He works so hard and so diligently uh, uh, with me. And, and we just, I'm telling so much, uh, so many things I would not be able to do without, because, you know, without him. It's because of him I'm able to do so much. So I really appreciate my husband Dupree. I love my three grown folk. That's what I call them. My three grown folk. <laughs> and Ty, Tay Tay, and Tandy. They are, um, two of them are at work right now, so I know they, they can't hear me. But I love my grown folk. I love my family, my sister, my nieces, my nephew, all of my sister friends, Sheila Moore Piper, um, Neva for a Nation. Those are my sisters. Those are my sisters. I love them. And I love my brothers, Glenn and Jason. And, um, um, if you all want to uh, find out a little bit more about me, you can contact me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Sean Ray Price. You can YouTube me. I'm on there. I'm on all digital outlets, Spotify, Apple, Deezer, uh, iTunes. I'm on a 
out, just look up Sean Ray Price and my music will pop up. If you want to um, a private, you know, message me, you can message me through Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, do the, and I get back to you within an hour or so. I, I get back to you pretty promptly. And if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can email me at SeanRaySheryPrice at gmail.com, and I get back to you as prompt as possible. And I want to thank you all. Thank you, listeners. Thank you for listening on tonight, tonight and God bless you all. And um, Minister Red and Lady K, thank you, thank you, thank you Amen. for sharing Amen. your platform with me on tonight. Jerry Royce, a.k.a. A- a- Batman, I love you. Amen. And thank you again for having me on Power Lift Radio tonight. I can't wait to come back. <laughs> amen, <laughs> amen. I'm yes, excited. We, yes. Let me spell the name for the audience. It is S-H-A-N-R-A-E. And the middle name, yeah. Cherie, C-H-E-R-E-E, last name, Price, P-R-I-C-E. Yeah. I want to so everybody's got the right spelling so you can locate the right one. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. yes. So to God be the glory. We thank you. We are honored by you. I'm going to repay this for myself. So I'm going to listen to it like I'm, a, like I'm a listening audience because this was absolutely amazing. Thank you for your power. <laughs> Thank you for your yeah. anointing. Thank you for your insight. Thank you for your story and your testimony. And, hey, Lady K, what do we say? I know this is your first time meeting us, Lady yes. Price, but add, add two more fans to your list. Oh, add thank two you. more fans to your list because we are and on you know what? Reverend Red, I think we got another minute. Hey, um, Lady Sean Ray, can you give us a few little a little stanza? few little notes if you if you could before we run out of time sure sure i have the faith that sees the invisible expects the incredible receives the impossible faith that can conquer Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for listening to Power Thank Lift. Thank you so much. Up. You know you can sing, Lady K, when you can just sing at the drop of a hat. Boy, I am tearing up the whole way. Oh, he's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. We love you. Thank you, Jerry. We love you. God bless you, too. Uh, uh, thank you, Jerry. God bless right. the listeners. And we'll see you guys next week on Powerlift. God bless. Bye-bye. How many times must I forgive to try to move on from the past down inside, I know I have to leave you because there'll never be a past. It seems to me like it's all a play and pattern. You hurt me, then you keep messing up, and then you run back to me because you know it's my weakness. My seeing your tears and hearing your fears, I run back to you and drown in your tears. Two.